today is Wednesday. I'm gonna go train legs. My hay fever is fucking killing me. You can't see how red my eyes are. It's the leg day fit. Quads are popping. Today is actually a quad focused leg day. I look like you've just dug me up from my grave, literally. <sighs> Walking out in this heat. This humidity is something else. It's also leg day. Um, it's actually been a really good leg day. I felt really strong, which just goes to show that it's good to take time off when you need it. Because I took a whole week off when I had kidney infection, obviously. Um, so yeah, today, this leg day has felt really good, but I've got one exercise left and it's split squats. And that is the most painful, but if you guys want glute gains, you have to have split squats in your routine. Glute biased split squats are insane for your glutes. Like, they're brutal. I don't know why I leave them last, but I will be, I will have to be carried out of this gym. <laughs> but yeah, I did um, hip thrusts, RDLs, leg extension, and now I'm doing split squats. And I'll try and show you guys how I set them up so that they're glute biased. Oh my god, I am fucking dead. Oh my fucking god. I failed that last exercise split squats. All my sets I did to failure. As in, I went for another rep and I could not get back up. I upped the weight this week. Maybe that's why I'm not ready to up the weight. And I just made myself do it anyway and fail. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna head to work. I'm on phones today, so it might be We'll see if the weather makes a difference to the amount of people calling. I feel like when the weather's really hot or really nice, people don't reach out to services as much. Like I notice it on my volunteering as well, um, on the helplines, people don't reach out as much. Oh my God, I also just picked this up. I never used to drink energy drinks and now I am in shackles. I am tied to these. Never actually tried this flavor before. It's, I think, rose flavored. Mm. I thought it said rose then. And I was like, uh, I don't want to be drinking alcohol before work. But no, it's rosa. Let's try it. I just spilt that and screamed and someone looked at me in my car. Um, immediately no, but that's fine. I don't dislike it, I just feel like, what even is that flavour? I can taste a bit of rose, but not that much. My favourite at the moment is the mango one. I think it's called Mango Fiesta. I went through a watermelon phase. I just fixate until I get bored with different flavours. So right now, I like the mango. I thought I'd try something new, but I prefer the mango to this, but yeah. I mean, it's only eight o'clock in the morning, totally normal time to be drinking an energy drink. Not unhinged at all. I've just showered. I honestly, I recognize the privilege of working from home because I'm just in my pajama shorts and a t-shirt. Um, whereas I remember this time last year when I was working in my other AP job and I had to go in half the time during last summer's heat wave, I was honestly struggling. I just feel like we will always find a reason to complain about the weather as Brits. And it's like, this is what we long for all year round. We're like, oh, I just want it to be sunny, I just want it to be hot, I just want a proper summer. And now we've got it, everyone's complaining. So I'm trying to not complain because I do actually really like this weather. Like some cools, please. Selena speaking. Hello. So obviously our phone's shut after 4.30, I should know that. Um, so if anyone calls out of hours, they can leave a voicemail.
No messages. Okay, thank you. You guys remember what it was like before? This is what we've changed it to so that the new sofa can go there. I would agree that it looks smaller. Yeah, it does. It does. Really yeah, cool. that's so strange. Yeah. And the sofa looks bigger. Okay. Why does the sofa seem bigger as well? That's so strange. Şuraya konulacak. Bir de Nikola'nın yaptığı şey var. Footstop. Yeah, that's not gonna go in here, is it? This is the decoration update. <coughs> oh, Mumsil. We're gonna get a. Um, see, that's gonna look bad. Ne? This. And then you wanna put a chair here. It's not gonna work. Olabilir, olabilir, olabilir. No. Olabilir. I don't know. She wants to put a like a reading chair type thing here and like an overhead lamp. It's been quieter than usual, but I did just have a call and I've done all my admin for it and everything. So I didn't just have it. I had it maybe an hour ago, an hour and a half ago. I've got some more work to do and also we've got a few hours left of the day. So who knows? I might get another call. Um... But yeah, I'm really tired. I don't know if you guys can tell. I, I honestly, I'm like, oh. why is it every time I go to vlog, I'm literally, well, it's just all the time. I just feel like I'm tired all the time. Like I'm, I'm sleep deprived and I just feel like I look so tired. I just don't look my best. And I'm like, oh. I'm meant to be in my prime and I'm tired all the time. Um, but yeah, we'll get through it. On the agenda, um, I'm gonna get my dad something for Father's Day from me and my brother, my mom's birthday cards, and then there are a few things I wanna look for for myself. I really wanna look for new workwear for the summer because next week I have two events. Um, Monday and Tuesday I have to commute and go to these events and look smart but it's fucking boiling and all of my smart clothes are like trousers and like shirts and long sleeve t-shirts and I will not survive. I spent 80 quid in super drugs. I don't know. I don't know. I just got excited when, once I got in there. I thought I just never shop in person anymore and I just miss like actually looking at makeup products. And there's something about drugstore makeup that it's just different like I just love it because I'm like it's cheap so then I just feel like I can buy more and then before you know it I've left spending 80 quid some of it was stuff I needed some of it wasn't and then from m and I got my dad some shorts I didn't end up finding any workwear I just left it too late by half seven all the fitting rooms shut so I just what I did find, I was like, I don't know if this will fit me. I don't know if it'll look right. I got some dental products, which I'm not going to show because that's boring. But um, I got the, I got a uh, body lotion because mine's running low. Makeup wise, I didn't actually get that many exciting things. I think I just, it was just the excitement of like looking through. I literally looked through every single brand. I was like, what's new? What's out right now? Uh, I got the Revolution Sport Fix. Uh, makeup spray you guys know that I'm a gym rat I live and breathe the gym it's basically my life it's basically my personality so um, a setting spray for specifically for sport and the gym sounds good uh, to get your makeup on and then I got three concealers two of them were repurchases so this Rimmel kind and free concealer is really good it's not high coverage but it's very like their um kind and free range is meant to be like a more sort of natural finish on the skin and this concealer always just really hydrates my under eyes and just just looks really natural and like light and glowy and just like your own skin and then this collection lasting perfection concealer i've used on and off for years like if you guys know about makeup like this is so so good and so affordable but this is actually a different version. This is their hydrating formula. So I'm trying this out. We'll see if I like it. And then I got a Maybelline Fit Me as well concealer. 
And then this, oh, I also got from the, that same Rimmel Kind and Free range, I got this uh, pressed powder. This is the Collection Gorgeous Glow Filter Finish Complexing Boosting Priming, a Primer and Illuminator. And this is meant to be a dupe of the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter, which is like 30 something pounds. This was probably under a 10. The one I actually wanted, because lots of brands have come out with dupes for the Charlotte Tilbury one, because this is so popular and for good reason. I've literally used this for years. Um, I was always told when I worked as an HCA and I was working like 12 hour shifts and night shifts, the patients would be, and like my colleagues would be like, your makeup always looks good. Like how does it look good at the end of a 12 hour night shift? I'm like, this is what I wear. Um, and I've kept repurchased, repurchasing this ever since because it just, it can never fail me. As you can tell, it looks a lot darker than my actual skin tone, but your face does not turn this color when you put it on because it's not really a foundation. It doesn't really give coverage. It's really difficult to describe what this product does, but it just makes your skin look incredible. It's like that glass skin like just glowiness in the collection there was literally four colors and the one i think this is number three and number two was like way too light so i just got this one because i thought yeah this is in medium definitely added some warmth to my face which is good because i look dead um and has added a really nice glow. First impressions, I think this is a really good dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. What I like about both of them is that they both give you a glow but without making you look like glittery. And this was $7.99, guys. Okay, you guys, this is the finished look. Company, which is a great fit for me because I live in a house and I know what a bathroom is. I actually just had a call. So I'm going to do the admin for it now and then I've got another call in 20 minutes but that's the follow up call so it should be a bit shorter. Another thing I want to do is basically um, I've been making a welcome pack so that um, every new starter who joins the trust will get this pack and it tells them about our services and it has some like well-being and information in there. You know we talk about like how to recognise um, like your what, what your warning signs are for your stress bucket overflowing and some tips on how to take care of yourself and we talk a bit about the three circles model so um the model that we use in our practice is the compassionate mind model and that is I think there's a lot to it, but part of it is the three systems model. It's basically the idea that we have three different systems to regulate our emotions. So we have like the blue, the drive system, the green, the soothing system, and then we have red, which is the threat system. And that it's important to keep all of these systems in balance, but often we end up in the red um, and in the blue. So we're often in doing mode. The blue system is like your drive system. So it's... Um, it can still be um, a positive thing. It is associated with positive feelings of feelings of accomplishment and, um, you know, feelings of motivation. When we're doing too much of that and not enough of the green, which is like the soothing system. So these are activities that you can do to feel sort of safe and content and relaxed. Um, and then the threat system is the red system. So that's those feelings of worry, anxiety, fear, stress. So often we are, our red and our blue systems are really activated and we're all focused on doing and getting things done, which can be stressful. Um, and then when we don't have enough of the green, then we can feel burnt out. Actually, in this welcome pack that I made, it sort of introduces these ideas and give some examples of activities you can do to um, activate your soothing system more. I basically pitched the welcome pack to a group of people um, over Teams and got some feedback on it. Um, so what I want to do this afternoon is make some tweaks and um, I basically want to um, put a watermark on it saying that it's a draft and then send it out to more people to get feedback um, from. So 
yeah. I'm on my way to physio. There is like start stop traffic at the moment. Um, I am literally gonna die doing physio in this heat. Like, I feel like there's a misconception that physio is just like stretching and it's easy. It's so, it's literally a workout. It's so hard. So fucking dead. It's so hot. Just came out of physio. Really good physio session. I'm actually on my last four weeks. So it's a 12 week program and I just paid another installment. So I've got three sessions left after this and then I'm done. I kind of don't want it to end because it's, I feel like it's so, it's been so good for me and I've seen so much improvement in my like core strength my lower back strength i'm i haven't had a stiff neck since i've started um i haven't pulled my lower back since I, I was go i went through a phase where every other week i was either pulling my lower back in the gym or um you know straining my neck waking up with stiff necks because I, I slept so stiff i need to start driving because i'm baking in this car but yeah i just picked up a protein shake oh my fucking god Oh my fucking god, you guys. You are fucking joking. I'm coming to you live from when I discovered we've got the missing top. This was it. Do you know where I fucking found it? I put some socks up to dry and I reached my hand down here. What the fuck else is down here? Some pants, right? I reached my hand down here because I thought, where's the other sock? It's fallen down and I just pulled this out. You are fucking joking. The missing top saga. The case has been closed, it's been resolved. So my mum must have washed it, put it here to dry. It fell down the side and it's been there ever since. I actually cannot believe that. How the fuck has that happened? Why is there so much shit down here? It's like fucking... Where's that so? Good morning. Good morning, baby. Good morning. Oh, have you been waiting? Have you been a good boy? Come on then. What happened to Alfie yesterday? Ooh, he got yes. attacked. Oh, yeah, we've got a receipt if Ooh, okay. it doesn't fit or... Yeah, because mum said you need new shorts. I can just try them over these. Okay. They feel okay? Yeah, they do actually. They're really nice, thank you. Yeah, they look nice. Thank you very much. Mm. Thank you, Happy Sabine. Daddy Day. Mm. Thank you. Thank you very much. Lovely. Guys, I'm wearing the top. Today's adventure is we're taking my brother to my gym for the first time. And he's like purely into calisthenics. And I'm going to introduce him to the world of weightlifting. It's just funny that he's gonna be in, he's gonna be in the gym where all of the drama has unfolded in my life. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm so excited. Yeah, you guys, yesterday Alfie got attacked when Ben was walking him, didn't he? Yeah. And what did you do? I, um, I separated them. He jumped in the middle like a hero. All I knew was I was getting picked up to go to the gym. And then I got a text 
being like, oh, your mum and dad are here. And I was like, what? They've gone to the mall. And then I looked out my window. It was mum, dad and Ben all down the road. I was thinking, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> Some reunion. And Ben was covered in mud and blood. And yeah, Alfie got attacked. This dog bit his ear. And um, he's all right, though. They've cleaned his ear and stuff. And bloodshot his eye. Yeah, and he had a bloodshot eye, but... Apparently that's better this morning. Um, yeah, we're going to the gym. Ben wanted to wear a vest, and I was like, "Please don't be that guy." I and didn't then want to wear a vest. <laughs> oh, did, did you not? No, I just... You were joking about it. No, you you are the one that brought it out. Oh, okay, you yeah. Yeah, because sometimes you wear vests at home. Yeah, so okay. I was like, "Are you gonna want to wear that to the gym?" No. And then he was like, "How's that fair? You're you're pretty much wearing a vest." <laughs> It's different for girls. I was like, don't be that guy. That's the best. There he is. <laughs> How's it going? Good. Yeah? You enjoying it? Yeah, it's fun. When do you want to go? I'm going to do one more exercise. Okay. okay, guys, we are back from the gym. Uh, we've just showered and got changed and we're taking our dad out for lunch. Chloe trousers from Zara. They are slightly too small for me now. But what can you do? The gains are the gains. And just this t-shirt I think is from H&M. For like three back exercises and biceps and Ben was like, I'm done. I need a cardio. So much. Yeah. And the cleaner who I'm friends with was like, your brother's cute. Like, what's his number? And I was like, girl. Well deserved. Mm -hmm. Oh, baby. Okay. Where is it? So now you can really tell that he's <laughs> <laughs> so happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is what I'm going for. This is a classic nude by OPI. Hi guys, I got it. This one is called the Pink Dragon. Okay guys, these are the nails. They feel super short. I'm not used to them being this short and this natural, but they're what I wanted. They're exactly what I wanted. And they're only 30 pounds to get them removed and a new set, but these are a uh, normal color, not gel. Um, and I treat myself to a smoothie bowl. I feel like it's a Sunday. Like, treat yourself, you know? I've had a good day. I went to the gym, went out for lunch with my dad and my brother. And now I just really want a smoothie bowl, so I'm going to try it on camera. Just so refreshing. Do you guys hear this weather right now? I have an event today. I'm speaking in front of 150 people. Um, I'm just about to go to the gym and then I'm gonna get ready there and commute from there. Um, but I'm meant to be wearing like a long black summery dress and look at the weather. But I didn't have the brain power this morning to find a plan B. I was like, I don't know if you guys are like, but that just stressed me out too much. I was like, no, no, I plan to wear that dress. I'm gonna wear that dress. I don't care if, if it's inappropriate for the weather. Like, are you fucking kidding me? So I don't care, I'm wearing that dress. This week's pretty crazy. Today's actually Tuesday. Yesterday I had to commute as well. Today I'm commuting for this event. Thursday I'm commuting. So it's a busy week. Hey guys, I was only able to do half my workout. I had six exercises for today's push, and I only did three. Oh my clothes laid out. I am wearing this dress, I don't give a fuck.
also I completely forgot to take my hay fever medication this morning so I'm really sniffling so I don't know how I'm gonna survive the day let's put this is at this hotel it's basically we do an event because across the trust we have like health and well-being champions who promote well-being in their workplace and um you know also like spread the word of our service basically we're holding an event for all the health and well-being champions across the trust a bit of like well-being for them like they're going to be well-being activities and a bit of cpd for them as well because we're going to be talking a bit about the compassionate mind model what gets in the way of well-being in the workplace so yeah it's just a day for the champions um and yeah it's quite a big i think it's the biggest event we've done there are going to be like a hundred and something people there and um i only have to talk for five minutes but i've never spoken in front of a crowd that big before um and to be honest guys like i just don't let myself i don't give myself permission to worry or overthink of things and that's how i cope and then in the moment like i'm shit scared but i just do it you know and I just feel like you have to fake your confidence. Like, I don't, like in my personal life, like I am susceptible to overthinking. But with work, I'm so different. I'm just like, I just say yes to everything. Like my manager asked me to do something, which I know is probably a toxic trait. But I'm just like, yeah, sure, no big deal. We were in the team meeting. They were like, one of the other APs was like, have you ever spoken to this many people before? And I was like, no. But I'm gonna do it. Like, it's not a big deal. The fuck, like. So that's my mentality um, and also I kind of just like take on an alter ego which is actually a very common therapy technique. I've done it with patients before um, where if they have anxiety like who would your alter ego be like you know and for me in times where I get like anxiety I just think of like Bridget Jones because Bridget Jones was awkward as fuck she was constantly like you know tripping over her words saying inappropriate things being clumsy but everyone still loved her and she's still likable and i really like her so i'm just like who cares who literally cares it just makes you more human i feel like the audience can just relate to you a bit more than if you're there just like a literal robot like reading off a script like just go off the script the worst that can happen is you'll do a bridget jones and that's not a bad outcome because everyone lo you know bridget jones is likable like I like her anyway, so I don't care if other people don't like her. Do you know what I'm saying? So, I hope that made sense, and I hope your anxiety is cured now. Um, but yeah, that's what I do when I get nervous. I just, I fake the confidence, because I'm like, you can be nervous on the inside, but no one actually has to know that you are on the outside. And even if they can tell, I just feel like it makes you more human and more likable and i just take on an alter ego and i just fake my confidence and i listen to music that makes me feel good if i'm ever on the way to something like i'm gonna listen to music that makes me feel good on the way there now and i just don't even give myself the chance to get nervous about it because i'm just like yeah it's no big deal did speak in front of everyone and it was fine it was good actually okay it was good it was good um but yeah, that's over now. It's been a nice day. We got this lady in to do mindfulness photography um, with everyone in the morning. And then this afternoon, we're going to be talking about the compassionate mind model. Guys, it's turned into a beautiful day. This hotel is really pretty as well. The sun's out. I'm going straight back to the gym because I have my gym bag, my gym clothes, and I didn't really like fully sweat this morning. So I'm just going to wear get back into my gym clothes um i only did this morning today was push but it was hypertrophy i've changed my split so that i do um i do push pull legs i do an eight day split so i do push pull legs rest push pull legs rest before i was pretty much doing that except i wouldn't have a second push day i just i trained legs twice a week and back twice a week and then I'd have a push day. Now I wanna train each muscle muscle group twice a week. And on top of that, um, I'm doing it so that one of the days are hypertrophy and one of them are strength. So um, 
I'm doing push twice a week, but one of it will be one of them will be hypertrophy and then the other one will be strength training. Um and the difference is that hypertrophy is for muscle growth. Um so you're doing a higher rep range, so you'll do like three or four sets of 10, 12 reps. Um strength training is about getting stronger. It's literally it's about like power. You know, it's like what power lifters do. Um so you're doing less reps, you're doing like four to six reps and you're doing a higher weight um obviously you do get stronger with hypertrophy training as well but strength training will focuses just on that and we'll speed that up so we're just going to try it out but anyway today was my hypertrophy push day um so i only did three exercises i literally only had time to do 45 minutes this morning and yeah so i did dumbbell chest press dumbbell shoulder press dumbbell lateral raises which are also for your shoulders so i'm going to go back and do the rest of it which is the pec fly machine and then two cable tricep exercises and yeah that's what i'm going to go back and do now i'm kind of dreading it I'm just like i hate standing around when it's really rammed in there and you're just like there's no cables free you just like stood there like I don't want to mess up my program and go do something that's not on my program. So you just like stood around awkwardly. Um, and that's why I'm a morning gym person because I don't like waiting around at the gym and I don't like it being super busy. And that's someone who I don't really, I don't even have gym anxiety. I feel quite confident in the gym. I've been going to the same gym for so long, like three, almost four years. So I can imagine that can be such a barrier for people who aren't confident or are new to the gym, like going at peak times after work. So yeah, I can't have the energy drink, but this time guys, this time I chose a sugar-free one. So I'm doing better, I'm getting better. And I just spilled that. I had this dilemma last night because last night, Monday night I volunteered so I finished at 10 30. I was asleep by 11 because luckily I don't really struggle to actually get off to sleep so I was asleep by 11 and I was like well do I go to the gym in the morning because I'll I wake up at five that's six hours sleep that's not ideally I want at least seven hours sleep talking in front of like a hundred people and I've never spoken in front of that many people before my parents were like just don't go to the gym tomorrow like just go after work and I was just like and now I've got, I'm going to text my mum like, oh, I'm going back to the gym to finish my workout. And she's literally going to be like, you're crazy. You're literally batshit. And it's like, yeah, kind of, <laughs> a little bit. Hey guys, I've finished my weight session. And now, oh, if this works, uh, it's time to torture myself. Um, it is busy, but it's actually not too bad. Guys, good morning. It is another day of commuting. Um, I'm just heading to the gym. It's 6 a.m. I don't actually have to commute straight from the gym today because I don't have to be there till 10. So I've got time to come home after and get ready. I'm going to go train legs. Just wearing this t-shirt shorts it's like my favorite attire for leg day it's just like baggy t-shirt and shorts okay guys i've just finished my workout it was long as fuck because i was training for strength so i was doing less reps and heavier weight and you, the rest times in between each set it's just like it's so long and i'm just i don't have the patience for it and i just found it boring but we're just experimenting Why are you saying that? <laughs> oh, well done. Mum, tell the vlog what it is. What's the table for? Puzzle table. Puzzle table. Okay, guys, I've just managed to get ready very quickly. Um, I haven't been able to do my hair at all this week. This is my natural hair. Um, so I've just, apart from my bangs, obviously, I just um, use my Dyson, like um, this like bristly attachment on my bangs. This one, this one, 
um but apart from that i've just left my hair i think it's just me and my one of the psychologists and i think she's actually going to speak at some point i have a feeling she's doing a bit of a i don't want to say i don't know if it's a full presentation but she's speaking at some point but i'm just going to be there to man the stand and talk to people i used to have a protein bar every day and i stopped having them um because they're just processed and whatever and i just try and get my protein from more natural sources i do still have protein powder like every day um but i was having like yeah protein shakes and one of these every single day and it's like actually you can get your protein in without it and also if i want something sweet like i'll just have a bit of chocolate like it's not the end of the world I also stole myself a car air freshener because we have loads of like random merch and i thought they won't notice it on christmas so my car's gonna smell nice right, so there's this giant chest puzzle here i should send this to my brother uh, yeah, I've just come outside to get some air because I'm feeling really sleepy. But this hotel is really quite gorgeous. Really nice outside space. Just about to drive home. Um, it's three o'clock, so we didn't go for the whole event. Um, but it was good. We raised a lot of awareness. Primary care is a sector where we're not as... We don't have our foot in the door as much. So it was helpful. It is really interesting, though. Um, I feel like it's common knowledge that primary care is struggling and the NHS and GPs are struggling. But to be actually in those, you know, in the room when people are having those discussions and like, you know, really feeling everyone's frustrations makes it a lot more um, real and yeah just really interesting um there were gps there practice less gps but there were quite a few gps but more like practice managers and people in management roles in primary care i'm literally so tired um i just had a nap for like half an hour i need to get my ass up any more than half an hour and you start to feel i start to feel really rough and like I start to get like nauseous if I sleep too, if I nap too much. I'm actually so tired, oh my god. Right, I need to get up and I need to have dinner. My physio cancelled, which I am low-key, look, I can't even like open my eyes. Low-key very thankful that my physio cancelled because I do not have the energy today. Let's say go. Where are you going? Where are you going? It's supposed to be good. It is really, really nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah, I'd recommend three courses, I would. Yeah. Would you know? yeah. Don't tell mum that. Well, at least starters and mains. Yeah. Because you've got dessert at home. Indeed. She's big, right, Vegemba? I can't remember. We mm -hmm. had a rhubarb and pistachio panna cotta. Ooh, that nice. It was really delicious. Mm -hmm. Ooh, let's Sweetie. see, let's see, yeah. Certainly, I had a quick look at the menu, I can't, and it looks good. It's fully booked all the time. Mm. Right then. Okay, have fun. Bye. Bye. Bye.